John, I'm trying to give you some hope, so welcome to my pregame show. I am your normal host, Lucy Rodine. We've got a big game this weekend, so we don't have time to waste explaining why I wasn't here. Iowa saw their undefeated record slip away, or rather get sacked, against Michigan. The Hawks fell 10-3 on the road to Ann Arbor last weekend, and it was an ugly one. Iowa finished with one net rushing yard, and Nate Stanley was sacked not one, not two, but eight times. But the big issue with the Michigan game is that Penn State's defense looks a lot like Michigan's, and, well, we all know how that story ended. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Penn State um, is very talented defensive line and uh, linebackers as well. Um, so we're going to have to come ready to play. Um, and seeing, I guess, that pace that Michigan played at, I guess, uh, helped us in a way. Um, but like I said, you know, we just need to be ready to go this week. Uh, they got a really good defense, um, and their defense line really sticks out. They're really uh, big, physical, and fast. Uh, they do a good job of you know, getting after quarterbacks. I, I saw last week they had a lot of success getting to the quarterback, and uh, you know they just bring different blitzes and things like that. Michigan had eight sacks against Iowa. Penn State had 10 against Purdue, so it's going to be pretty rough. But Penn State has been one of Iowa's most frequent divisional crossovers since conference realignment. But the Hawks haven't been able to beat Penn State since 2010. But the last few years, it's been a competitive series with the game coming down to just one or two plays, but they have not gone in Iowa's favor. The past couple of games, uh, it's come down to the wire. So we know that if we just um, go in the game with a, a little hungrier, better mentality, execute better, we can win this one. You know, I think just that, that we're right there. We just need to capitalize on maybe one or two more plays. Um, you know, um, we had uh, Coach Tom Moore come in and speak to us last year before the Wisconsin game, and, and uh, you know, his message was over the course of the game, it really comes down to maybe four or five plays that make the difference in the game, but you never know which plays those are. Um, so, you know, really just in the moment capitalize on all those opportunities that we have. Uh, you know, it, it, that's something that we di didn't do the last two times we played these guys. But possibly Iowa's biggest advantage this game is that it's a night game under the lights in Kinnick and the Hawks are rocking some sick alternate uniforms. The boys in black and gold are actually just going to be the boys in gold, but the crowd will be striped and there's no doubt it's going to be the best crowd Kinnick sees all year. I mean, if this video doesn't get you hype, if the Hawk doesn't get you hype, I don't know what will. Yeah, I mean, I heard there's a stat about under the lights in Kinnick and, you know, just with the fans and the atmosphere, you know, being, being able to come back after a uh, hard road game. It's going to be good for us just to play in front of our fans to get that extra boost that we need. It's going to be it's going to be amazing. I feel like the crowd's going to be into the game the whole game, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. Given that the crowd's going to be into it, the players going to be into it. It's going to be it's going to be a wild game. Davion Nixon also told me that he looks good in yellow, so he's excited for this one. So here's the question: Does number 10 Penn State come into Kinnick and keep their undefeated season alive? I'm actually going to say a no in this one, and my decision comes down to the honorary captain. Former Iowa quarterback and legend Ricky Stanzi is one of the most beloved football players in Iowa history, and I will never bet against Ricky Stanzi. So I think it's going to be a close one, but the Hawks, they're going to take it. So that's going to do it for my return to the pregame show. Come on back on Monday to see if I manage to keep my cool with Stanzi at the game. Spoiler, I'm not going to. John, back to you.